I invite everyone to, for the Pledge of Allegiance, please. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America, and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you. Could we have roll call, please, Miss Abby? Yes. Silkins? Here. Bunce? Here. Bosher? Here. Fent? Here. And Puffin? Here. Thank you. Did he call you? Oh, no. new guy. Sorry. The new, new guy. guy. New guy. <laughs> new guy. <laughs> What's his face? Rice. His face? <laughs> Here. Here. <laughs> Thank you. I kept listening for his. And Me too, I'm going. Very good catch. <laughs> okay. Ah, Welcome, all right. Dale. Everybody <laughs> had a chance to look over stuff, so right now I just need an approval of this evening's agenda, again for October 25th, 2021, please. I'll make a motion to approve it. I'll second it. Second it. Mr. Fent, Mr. Bunks. Perfect. Bryce? You say approve, yes or no? Yes or no? Yes. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Bosher? Yes. Bunce? Yes. Bent? Yes. Bilkins? Yes. Putvin? Yes. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, so before I get into the approval of the July 26, 2021 meeting minutes mm -hmm. for our public that follows us, we were not here in August and or September, so that's why you missed us, because we were not here. We Fair. weren't here. Now that I got that off the plate. So, now I would entertain approval of the July 26, 2021 and meeting I've, minutes. And I've read them through, yes. and I approve the minutes of the 26th. Then I'll Perfect. second it. Seconded by Mr. Fenn. Bunsen Fenn? Yes. Okay. Bent? Yes. Bunce? Yes. Bilkins? Yes. Putvin? Yes. Rice? I probably shouldn't comment since I didn't read them. That's true. Just say yeah because you're a good guy. <laughs> yes, you did. <laughs> it's all good. And Bosher? Yes. Okay. Thank you, Abby. <laughs> okay. This evening we have a public hearing <clears throat> pertaining to an ordinance amending the zoning ordinance for storage facilities. Having read that, I'm now going to go to Mr. Wallace for this. Thank you. Uh, kind of an unusual request that we don't usually take. Uh, it's somewhat rare to have an applicant uh, uh, asked uh, for a zoning text amendment, but it does happen from time to time. Um, Michael Blackmere of 2233 Sunnyside Drive in Cadillac, Michigan, who's also the owner of the Pines Bowling Alley, um, has, I guess, managed uh, two ball fields that were to the rear of his property for quite a number of years. And in recent times, uh, apparently they have not produce the uh, expected revenue of people attending the games uh, using the, the Pines uh, business. And he's been looking for an avenue to uh, increase revenue uh, on his property. And so what he is wanting to see if the Planning Commission would consider is to uh, allow storage facility uh, to be considered under a special use permit uh, in the TS2 district. Uh, so this, what we're doing tonight, would not approve the project. It would only create a pathway for the project to be considered. Uh, but that, that said, it's still important to consider what you would create a pathway for regardless of, of the application. So um, right now, uh, 
when he came in, he, f he first inquired about a uh, storage facility in general, and I told him that given the intent of the TS2 district that I didn't feel that a general storage facility would meet the intent of the district and really shouldn't be permitted. Uh, he then uh, said, well, what if we construe the <coughs> storage facility or design the storage facility to be more tourism related? In other words, uh, uh, he indicated to me that a number of people come to him and say, well, I just don't have a place to put my boat. I don't have a place for uh, whether it's uh, jet skis or pontoon or whatever whatever it is, a lot of people don't have the capacity at their vacation home to to store those facilities, and he thinks that there would be a, a market for that. And so I said, well, if if there's a way that we can find to uh, structure a, an ordinance change that would still meet the intent of the uh, zoning district, and that was included in my memo to you. I can, I can read it briefly. It says the TS1 and TS2 tourist service districts are designed to accommodate those activities necessary to service tourist needs, including retail activities, tourist accommodations, parks, recreation, and public uses of general interest to the tourist. So that is the uh, intent of, of the district. So, uh, over the course of a few weeks, we uh, corresponded and drafted a uh, proposed amendment to the TS2 district that would add uh, an item to the uses that could be considered by a special <coughs> use permit. And I'll, I'll call that uh, amendment up here in a minute. And here is that amendment. It would add a subsection 6 to uh, section 46, 459 of the zoning ordinance. And the, the item would be called recreational vehicle, watercraft, and auto storage. The uh, specific equipment that could be included in that would include camper trailers, motor homes, off-the-road or all-terrain vehicles, snowmobiles, travel trailers, utri utility trailers of two axles or less, boats, jet skis, autos, and class one through three non-commercial vehicles, which are basically pickup trucks. Uh, these last two items are not generally considered tourist related and hence you might want to give separate consideration to those but uh, they have been approached by people who they claim would like to store some higher end vehicles uh, in a protected storage unit and so um, since the majority of the items in there were uh, oriented to tourism I allowed those to be added but that's up to the Planning Commission where you want to go with that. And then I also uh, wrote into uh, the addition that there would be some regulations that would uh, govern uh, this particular use if it was applied for. Uh, and I can just read through those briefly. They're all important. <coughs> the, all storage buildings and outdoor storage areas shall be enclosed by a fence a minimum of six feet in height. Outdoor storage areas shall be screened by a fence or natural vegetation to a height of six feet. The main entrance to the site shall be designed and constructed with a crash gate or other suitable emergency access as approved by the police and fire departments for emergency vehicles. Outdoor storage shall be limited to motorhomes, camper trailers, and enclosed utility trailers. So the entire list can't be stored uh, externally, just those, uh, those three items that are mentioned. All indoor or outdoor storage areas must be located a minimum of 200 feet from either the M55 or the M115 right-of-way lines. Mm -hmm. So they wouldn't, it wouldn't become a use that could, could be considered right on uh, highway frontage. It would have to be set back that, uh, that distance from the uh, highways. 
All access aisles and outdoor storage areas shall be paved with asphalt or concrete. All items stored must be in operable condition. Uh, daily hours of public access shall be limited to 8 a.m. to 10 p.m. Non-glare lighting shall be provided for the site. Signage shall meet the standards of the Cadillac Zoning Ordinance, provided, however, no signs shall be placed on site fencing or storage buildings except for individual building addresses. Mm -hmm. Any waste uh, removed from recreational vehicles shall be processed pursuant to applicable state and city requirements. No dumping of waste uh, to the ground shall be permitted. <coughs> Excuse me. So there were a number of items um, uh, proposed in the <coughs> ordinance that would hopefully aim to keep it a higher end storage facility. Um, the one trouble that always comes up is over time, how do you enforce this ordinance uh, depending on how much of a, if it was phased or um, they have not really produ produced uh, any uh, market demand studies that would tell us that the demand is there as they say it is. Um, if the facility were built for a storage facility and say it were not, there was no demand for the intended market, um, I would consider that they would probably ask that it could be used for general storage purposes. Um, we've just formed uh, and seated a full board of the uh, West Side Corridor Improvement Authority, and we're in the process of undertaking a development plan for the West Side. And one of the things that becomes apparent right away is that there's not a great deal of land to produce the desired effect that that is out there and certainly you wouldn't want to entertain a use that's not tourism related uh, now in this case we have a case where they're removing something that's already tourist related and stated as acceptable and then substituting it with a different use which we don't really know really know what the demand is for that use uh, and the other issue would be is uh, how would we ultimately uh, know what was stored in the units. The outdoor storage units, we could look in the fence and say, oh, it's limited to those three things that we, I, we said. But with the other storage, um, I don't know that we would have a good way to know what was being stored there. I could, I could not justify taking that limited space and using it for household storage when we have so many areas in the city that would be uh, a better location for that that wouldn't work against trying to uh, create the west side as a tourism uh, destination. So, you know, it, it's not a clear-cut issue. On the one hand, uh, they have uh, steered the requested change to uh, tourism use and that was the only way I ag would agree to bring it uh, to the Planning Commission. On the other hand, there's issues of really not knowing what the demand is, really not knowing quite sure how we would ultimately regulate it or uh, uh, know what was going into those uh, units. So that's kind of what's going on with, with the proposal. Um, there was also a PowerPoint, uh, which I did not develop. Um, <coughs> <coughs> the PowerPoint uh, was put together uh, by the applicants. Mm -hmm. Unfortunately, one of the applicants is, uh, I guess, in a uh, COVID restriction period right now and could not attend. And the other uh, applicant, uh, one, well, one is Michael Blackmere, the other one is Brad Dornboss, who would be his partner. Uh, they put this PowerPoint uh, together. I could just slowly uh, uh, go through it and, and you can uh, uh, read some of the highlights. Uh, they uh, hope that this would help in lieu of their uh, absence tonight. So I'll just slowly go through it uh, maybe every 30 seconds or so so you can read the slides. The first thing they called into play is they wanted to show some consistency with the master plan <coughs> and with with that connection um, 
they call attention to the fact that it says it's the goal of the plan to rejuvenate the Cadillac West Resort District to its former sta status as a leading destination point for tourists. Um, key elements for the district's future would include, and then they highlight number five, businesses whose operations and facilities are conducive to the growth of tourism and synergistic to other district businesses. And you can look at some of the other uh, objectives of the of the district. And so Cadillac West self-storage, uh, they're claiming it would be an asset to the community, would be low impact on the area and environment, low traffic, clean, nice looking, built to look great for years to come, cleans up area that people have RV, campers, boat, and recreational vehicles outside their homes, asset to the community as it clears up yards, helps property values, Pontoon boats are now 100,000 plus uh, luxury crafts. Uh, owners do not want to stretch wrap in a field and uh, property tax revenue versus impact to a community. Uh, we already uh, covered this, so I won't spend time with that. Uh, this shows you the general layout. Tonight, I don't think we have to be concerned with the layout or the site design. That would come much later if an application uh, were uh, submitted, if this were approved as a, a, a use that could be considered. But it gives you some idea, you know, uh, the area that would be uh, uh, used for the facility. And then I think they're attempting to show what the current distribution of self-storage facilities uh, uh, are in the Cadillac area. It should be mentioned that I, I do believe that not very far from this site, uh, another storage facility is going in as we, as we sit here tonight. Um, I don't know what the time frame for its opening is, but I believe work on it has already started. and. Uh, I think that existing building on the site was actually going to be used for storage as well. So one of the buildings would be complete because it exists, and the other ones uh, will be uh, being uh, constructed. So that's that's another thing to to consider in in this as well. That's just down the road. You say, uh, John, um, at the uh, Bill Oliver's uh, yeah. place. There is that where the other one is going in. Right. Yeah. Okay. And that's not covered by no. <coughs> no, but from a but from a Cadillac West perspective. Yeah. And there's quite a bit of detail people here. Don't understand city and mm -hmm. right. So there's going to be a lot of storage out there. If yeah, right. Mike and well, we'll talk about it. We'll talk about it. Yeah. Sorry. I think they're highlighting a, a location at eleven five forty West Watergate Road in Cadillac. I haven't. I'm not familiar with that facility. But they're identifying the different unit unit sizes that uh, are available uh, at that facility, and the in the different price ranges. I think that's just another aerial photo uh, of the uh, the storage facility. Uh, but that is the the information that I've been supplied um, to present. Uh, I think it's a, a a challenging question before you tonight. It's hard to say. You know, I think it's one of those ones where you have to just look at the district intent and say it. it it meets that, or it's a it's a equal or better situation than what we have now, or or it's not. Uh, 
the best I could do was at least get it started down the path of being oriented toward, towards uh, recreation support and tourism support. Um, and you can, I can go back to the actual uh, ordinance itself and you could go through that list. And so the options are many. You could um, choose to reject the change of the, that addition. You could accept it as presented. You could accept it with changes. Uh, or you could approve it as is and recommend it to the council. Uh, this would obviously have to go before the city council as well. And if it did clear all those pathways, then um, then that would the next step would be they would file a special use uh, application and then you could start digging into the merits of the proposal and uh, would have a chance to uh, dig, dig into the details of how it was going to be run, what it was going to look like, uh, all those types of uh, factors. And with that, that's all I have on the general presentation. I'd be happy to... Um, uh, entertain discussion or if you want to talk amongst yourselves um, whatever your preference would be was there First any communications need. from anyone out that way John uh, no I have not received any communication <coughs> we need to so this would public comment first though right you have to open it for public comment first before discussion or no there's not going to be much. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> we'll sit out there and talk. I'm happy to too. <laughs> yeah, you, you could close. You, house, I'm you could close the public after. hearing. You could open and close that open really close. quick. Okay. All right. So, uh, all right. Uh, for formality's sake. So, at this time, we will go ahead and open the public hearing here on the uh, proposed uh, zoning ordinance, special land use uh, here in a TS2 district. Uh, anyone in our viewing audience or anywhere uh, is free to give us any input. So don't all talk at once. No. Mm -hmm. problem sorting. Mm -hmm. Okay, seeing, seeing no comments or anything from anyone, uh, at this time I'll just go ahead and close public hearing because we have no input. Okay, there. Formality. Thank you. Matt? That was fine. Perfect. Uh, so at this time, nice board, quiet. we can discuss. Uh, John, I'm probably getting the cart before the horse, but I thought I skimmed somewhere and stuff that you had sent us about, and obviously the unit behind us that was up of uh, out on 55, his is all gravel and is not asphalt or concrete. Um, I thought I skimmed something about that, or would that be part of, if this moves forward, he'd have to give us a site plan with that information. Well, right now, the way the use is written, it would require to be paved. Uh, in the past, we've allowed some leeway in time frames for paving. Um, so, I mean, you could require it to be paved from the outset, or you could allow them, you know, a year or, so other, or some other time frame if they wanted to get some revenue production. Um, I think you would have the flexibility to do that, but I think we do need to... Uh, stay with the pavement requirement mm -hmm. Go ahead. okay so just kind of thinking out loud here a little bit first i don't know why they included that picture totally irrelevant it's misaki county ridgeland town sure is. No yeah. zoning. <laughs> it's I, a nice I, one though have you been out there it is but it's completely irrelevant mm -hmm. um, great but you know okay it's complete. just so i clearly understand we're not we're, we would actually not specifically talking about this project, but it would open up, and I think that's probably the bigger question is, if this was in place, this now applies to any TS2 district. Yeah, once you open Pandora's there. box. Yeah. Right, but, yeah. you know, no, but if, you, if you look at the district, there's requirements in here that requires it to be X amount of feet off of the highways, so some of the small parcels that might be in that district could not then have this use considered because they wouldn't have the depth ne necessary to, um, you know, to uh, get off of the, the state highway. Um, and 
They also, in addition to having to meet these, they have to meet the general special use standards, which is compatibility with the surrounding area and so forth. So if there was ever a case where they could apply, you would always have the option to uh, turn down the use based on incompatibility with surrounding uses. I would like to just talk about the fact that we have gotten the West Corridor Improvement Committee off the ground. And so discussions are starting, you know, we're putting everything in place to get that group going. And to your point earlier, the work that we're going to do is going to have to happen with a very limited amount of space out that's available out in Cadillac West. So if we really want to improve it from a tourist attraction standpoint, you know, I would like us to just have some discussion about, um, you know, in my head I was sitting here thinking, you know, most people don't understand where the city ends and where the, where the townships start. Um, so you mentioned the new units that are already going up out there. So there's going to be more storage and it is going to be out in that area. Does it make more sense to encourage these developers to focus on something that could happen within that West Quarter Improvement District that it would keep it more of a, a tourist attraction or an opportunity for activities um, rather than storing things. I just like to have some discussion about that. <coughs> it's dead space once you get storage. Yes. It's done. Yeah. Also, I'm I'm assuming that people have contacted Mike with some concern or some need that we need a place to put. That the stuff that, that's sitting out in the open, and so that is what he's reported. That yeah, you so. may you may want him to <coughs> in some way quantify yes. demand. Uh, and one I forgot to mention too, one of your options tonight too, uh, other other than taking definitive action, you could also table this item to a future meeting if you wanted to collect more data. So that's, a, that's an option as well. Yeah, and, and I just want to, I, I just also want to say by my saying, I, I would just like us to talk about it and think about it. It's not that I don't greatly appreciate everything that this developer's been doing and, mm -hmm. and the fact that they want to improve the area and provide things that people are asking for. Um, but I just want us to be thoughtful in, you know, what we want to see out in that area and and I think what we want to see is probably more than that land space is going to provide us so we need to be very careful about how we choose to to use what area we have available so John once again looking at the the city map sunny side which comes along and comes through how, how does that that little piece of land there that must be right on the very, very edge of the city. Yes, yes, very much very so. Edge. Yes, in fact, like the in fact, the, pi the pines. Right yeah. Yeah. Right there. The, pi the pine uh, is actually the building is split. I think between the township and the city. Yeah. Here. Okay. No, right. okay. Actually, you're right. It does split the building, Cherry Grove. But the, it looks like the baseball fields are all in Cadillac. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I thought it. I thought the mine went mm -hmm. that followed behind those lots and that might make sense. But there is not a great deal of vacant property to the to the mayor's point to create the vision that people want. Um, there's very little open sp or vacant space and so a lot of it would require considering redevelopment projects in many cases like what's proposed here and so yeah, there's there's limited ability to create what's what the desired goal is. And I guess I also would um, refer back to our last meeting that we had with the West Corridor Improvement Group. The fact that there is a vision for say the strip mall out there, you know, if you know there is some vision, but it would require the whole strip mall to be taken down. In this instance, there's nothing on that property right now, so it wouldn't mean taking something down to build something new. If it's kind of like 
the yeah. the heart the horse before the cart or the chicken and the egg. <laughs> right. No, that's that's a very valid point. And I, I struggled with this issue. You know, I, once once you have limited space and you have two or more uses that you're considering, and 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 all and they all in some way have to do with tourism, then it becomes a weighted thing. Is this better than this? Is this better than this? And so you're looking across the board at uh, what the ultimate vision is and what does it take to get you there? And and will any of these uses further your cause better than the others? What about the, the Cadillac West Corridor group? Have, are they aware of this? Um, we haven't discussed this. No. <coughs> I guess my question is, do they have any ideas? for the use of the property not at this point but it, but it, I bring it up because you know there's there's going to be those discussions over there so maybe you know like John said maybe it gets tabled here and then we talk about you know maybe he introduces it to the West Corridor group and you know maybe that's a part of maybe that becomes one of the first projects to think about for that group um, I know. did I did offer them to attend the last corridor improvement authority meeting to casually introduce the project but okay. that was declined hmm. um, they didn't take me up on that offer and so we could also extend the invitation again yeah did the ball diamond thing is that just falling off the planet i mean in the day it used to be big stuff <laughs> i'm just gonna say and yeah stuff, but I don't know. But they were playing out there this summer. I it, it. I don't think they play like they once did. You know. There's so. several nights a week. Right. Yeah. yeah. Well, according to Mike, it's not a revenue generator anymore. It it slowed yeah. down quite a bit. Yeah. According to Mike. Everybody got old. <laughs> <laughs> right. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Except you, Kev. Except for me. I'm still yeah. Uh, yeah. That's true. But I, you know, I just think that. Just because I'm sitting on both of them, and so I'm hearing different discussions in both places, and I also listen to folks in the community, and it's like, you know, looking for things for young people to do, or, you know, mm -hmm. a, a skating rink, or, a, you know, something activity-wise that they could create out there that would generate revenue, but it would also fill a need in the community, and it would be attractive mm -hmm. to tourists who come. You know, and I don't know if the skating ring is the answer, but it, that's just a thought I had. That's something we don't have anymore, and I often hear that brought up. But maybe it could be a combination of things. Amusement well, that, park? Yeah, well, since, Amusement park. since the kind of skating ring burned down, Not, there's no, no skating yeah, ring. Tongue-in-cheek there, there, buddy. <laughs> and it was, that was a popular <coughs> skating yeah, ring. Yeah, 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 yeah. I, and I just throw that out there. Yeah, well, that's, yeah. The other thing that's happening kind of concurrently with all this is that uh, we're in the process of trying to finalize a draft of the new zoning ordinance, and uh, there will probably be a new zoning district uh, for this area that will still stress tourism and uh, also some support for year-round uh, retail for the area residents. But um, <laughs> We'll, we'll have to undertake what the permitted uses are by right and by special use permit uh, probably within the next month we'll have to write something up for that mm -hmm. and so getting some really good feedback on this now would help guide whether that should go into the rewrite uh, uh, of the ordinance uh, in the near future mm -hmm. I think if we made the decision tonight it'd be kicking the feet out from under those people I mean their their whole idea their whole means is to change this or build it or do whatever they're going to do to make this a better area mm -hmm. I would personally I would shelve this or table it and let those people talk about it yeah. see and think about it then maybe come back here and talk to us about it I think that's a great idea I, I'd go along with that too I just don't feel it'd be I'll fair to or okay. just do something without their, their right. knowledge mm -hmm. So is the, what's the connection, I'm, I'm looking at the Cadillac West Resort District that was in here, and then the committee that you're talking about, is that, explain that, what, there a committee that references the goals of the Cadillac West Resort District? That's correct. 
Okay. Yeah, John can maybe explain it better, but for so long it's, we've been looking for improvement out there, but we didn't have this authority seated and we didn't have a charter and we didn't have, so he can. Essentially creating a DDA for the west side. It functions we have a DDA in all practical here. matters as the DDA for the west side. It's not a DDA, they have to call it something else, but it, it works off the same tax increment financing process. Mm -hmm. And then you, you have the tax increment finance plan and the development plan. And what the board is working on uh, is the development side of that plan. The financial plan they'll also approve, but that's mostly going to be put together by uh, our finance officer um, a, in terms of trying to predict what the future revenues would be that come in off of those properties out there. And, and correct me if I'm wrong, John, in saying this, but you know, depending on <clears throat> what they ultimately decide to do out there, there could be grants available, there could be brownfield redevelopment dollars available to them. Uh, that's exactly right. To be able to help them change that property into something that will generate the revenue and fill the need in the community. Right, brownfield's available. Uh, depending on what the use is, if it were mixed use, uh, it might be possible to even be looking at MEDC money, depending mm -hmm. on if we could uh, qualify that district. Um, don't want to say that's for certain, but um, they uh, usually like to work in downtown, downtown areas, but I think other formal districts might be a possibility. Uh, we have a match on Main Street uh, grant thing that we're looking at trying to apply for right now. And we can do one grant for the downtown, and we can do one, one grant for the west side. And so there's an ability for one business to get up to $25,000 mm -hmm. uh, if, if they have a project ready to roll within the next six months. Uh, so we're in the process of doing outreach uh, the last couple days and for the next couple days to see if we can't locate a business that's in that position and uh, try to get that uh, financial help out to uh, at least two of the businesses. And that's coming through the uh, MEDC. And that also stems from the fact that we took the time and the effort to become redevelopment ready certified. And uh, there's other opportunities later, possibly from community development block grant because we were able to certify ourselves as a low income community. So we've opened as many doors as we possibly can to, uh, to, to attract money to assist with uh, redevelopment and development. Could you give me an explanation of the subnote of no storage of general household goods shall be permitted inside storage units? Well, what I mean by that is couches, end tables, lamps, um, <laughs> yeah, no, uh, uh, la lawn feeders. <laughs> I mean, yeah, I mean, those can go, those can go literally anywhere. <laughs> Drive around, there's some in some yards. Yeah. <laughs> Ranges, <Or some> bridges. <laughs> yeah. Okay. A lot of it goes back to, though, how you're going to regulate it, how you're going to control it. Yeah. You know, you if it's a closed door. Yeah. Right, you can't ask them to open the door to sell. Well, that the property. The, the only way you can do that is by you have to have a, some kind of camera or something that the city can watch to make sure that stuff doesn't go in. And I'm hard pressed for that to happen. <laughs> right. No. Think about it. That's the only way you can do it. Yeah. That that the, we as don't I mentioned. Have staffing to do that. As I mentioned in my memo, that is the biggest yeah. challenge. Is mm -hmm. we can observe the outdoor area easily. It's the indoor storage. We just wouldn't have much opportunity to ever know how it was being used. I think, yeah. are we still discussing? Sure. Or do you, can we make a motion? We, if everybody's done discussing. Okay, is there sure. anything else anybody needs to say or would like to say? Dale? Nope. I don't know your first time here, but your opinion matters to us. The only thing that comes to my mind is if we were to have a boat dealer or a snowmobile dealer want to come into Cadillac West are we putting any limitations on them because that's a big part of their business too storage shrink wrapping oh, right. keeping things behind their building I mean similar to J&D mm -hmm. um, would we be forcing those people out of the city limits 
No, I think that would be a different uh, different use. They would actually have uh, a little sa- more sale, directly related to sales. Things. Yeah, uh, I think okay. that. I yeah, think as that long as we don't put handcuffs on them uh, by thinking this way. Well, and I do agree with the mayor's comment that no, it's things for tourists to do. Oh, let's go hang out at the story achievements. No, that's not something for tourists to go do. <laughs> Depends right. on what's going on out there. <laughs> yeah, I mean, you know, think think completely out of the box. You know, think about um, you know spaces out there where you could set up an outdoor amphitheater that you could have you know events out there, and I, that's way out there. I realize, but. I mean, there's just there's so many things that just should be talk, could be talked about um, to create something unique. That, that's why you need to talk to your group that's there. Yeah, yeah. I think because they may have ideas already. They yeah, right. That. Yeah. And once you because it's a pretty space back there. Yeah, they once are. you put concrete on it, yeah. it ain't changing. Yeah, no, it's a really pretty space back there, and I would hate to see it all concrete. Well, yeah. Now you got more runoff into the. But I really think that now that we have the West Corridor Improvement Authority in place, that like you said earlier, let them have the opportunity to have these discussions before it comes here. That's true. Mm -hmm. If we hamstring them, so to speak, and we do something here, and I was on that board, I'd say, have a nice Mm -hmm. day. Exactly. You did this and we didn't get any input. Yeah. So you don't need us. Right. My opinion. Good point. So you want to make a motion to table this until the commission can look at it? That could be a motion, yes. Yes. Okay, mm-hmm. that's a motion. Mm-hmm. I'll second that one. Boy, we're busy tonight, you know. I know, just like that. Yeah. <laughs> you guys, I'm glad came. Yeah. We'd still be sitting here. Did, <laughs> listen, did our homework. I, I think everybody has under the same impression, same no, opinion. Right. So. Yep. Okay. It's fast. Are we ready? Yep. (laughs) (laughs) Abby's like, no, no, it's not yet. (laughs) Are you ready to vote? (laughs) Filkins? Yes. Bosher? Yes. Bunce? Yes. Fent? Yes. Putvin? Yes. And Rice? Yes. Now that motion is to table this to allow the commission to look at it, correct? That's correct. Right. Yep. Would you like them to come back with a recommendation sure. first, I, or I what am I like ready? To have them Just to let them discuss this. Yeah, okay. I mean, and or you also how, how much ready, right? there is really a need for that with people with enough high-end water well, vehicles I, they want to know, store. Right, and and maybe it's after the commission has the opportunity, Shannon Hamner is actually the chair, mm-hmm. and so she could be invited to this meeting. Well, I would say so. Yeah. Yeah, I just want them to look at it and say, well, that's a yeah. good idea, yeah. or and what about we're this? including them. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And just to clarify, when you talk about them, you're talking about the committee. The, the committee. Yeah, yeah. The, committee. the authority. Yeah. <coughs> yeah. Yes. yes. Yeah. The West, what is it called again? The West, the West yeah, Quarter West Improvement West. Authority. Okay. okay. What are some options? West. And that way the, the developer, the person interested in this application uh, is on that board too, so he'll have the he direct, is, he'll, yeah. have the, he'll have the well, direct feedback. That, but yeah. Mike is? He is. Good. Yeah, yeah. I thought I read that. <coughs> along with, along with other, other property owners from out in that area, so. John, maybe um, just a thought of information for that committee would be to identify if this was adopted, what other properties would that potentially affect mm. that, um, you know, even, even with an existing building that says, well, this isn't, this isn't income generating enough, I want to tear down and do this because this isn't specific only to this project. You change the... I could evaluate that. Yeah, you changed the whole. I'll look at the existing buildings and see if inadvertently we could be opening up some properties that we wouldn't want to. Mm-hmm. Right. Good. All right, we're good on this subject. Yep. yep. Okay. Uh, new business. Nothing. Old business. Nothing. Board member comments. <coughs> Are you ready for trick or treat? Any board member comments? I don't know. Try to have fun. 
We're always ready for trick or treat. I know. Huh? All right. You don't have to wait till Halloween. And no, next <laughs> Wednesday, the city is, or the downtown. The is. downtown is actually having their Halloween celebrations. Yeah, so right. it's free to everybody in the public to come on downtown and see what's going on. And there's usually a lot of kids. Kids are already gearing yeah. up. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. They don't mess up. Yeah. And I already asked Mr. Wallace, there were no communications, and we have no public for public comment, and we have any other business, and if everybody's really happy, we'll be. Sure, it's awesome. Okay. Good job. Thank you, everyone. Good job. Thank, Thank you. you.